Sand Farms. How long you been in the goats, Jeremy? 2016. 2016? Going, probably about three years. Yeah. Three years heavy. Yeah. What, ADGA. What got you into goats? Uh, really, my little boy, he was about five, and one day, we was both off work, I said, well, we'll just go down here to this flea market, and I just planned on, you know, just getting him like a little $50, a couple of little $50 little pieces, and he was just messing with them, messing with them, until they were, you know, gone, and then, uh, luckily, there wasn't any. So we called this lady, we found on, online, she's like, we got some registered, and uh, I was, well, how much you want for them? She said, Four hundred dollars. Four hundred dollars for a goat? I said, You're crazy. I don't know. I ain't never heard of such. But now that now that we're into this, I think, well, that wasn't too bad of a price, you know. <laughs> right. But uh, but yeah, that I've always I was always raised around animals. I've always been an animal lover. But uh, yeah, I love goats. Uh, how many goats you got now? Uh, you gonna ask me that question? <laughs> <laughs> uh, about, I think we got about 25. Wow. Four bucks and the rest of the does. Right. They multiply quickly, don't they? They do, yeah. Especially when you got kids. It's, well, I want to keep this one. Uh, I want to keep this one. Kids or, or wives? And huh? wives, yeah. wives? Yeah, that, that too. <laughs> I have yeah. a feeling you might be just as bad as the wifey. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. A little, <laughs> little bit. <laughs> I was like, oh, we're going to get rid of her. And then I'll get the bottle feeding them and stuff like that. Yeah. I think we might keep <laughs> You know. How'd you guys do today? We did pretty good. Uh, we placed uh, second, second with this doe here, and twelfth uh, with her. With her, the one, the girl the one, on the left. Yeah, the one laying down there. Uh huh. And thirteenth uh, with the little doe that's inside the little jail wow. cell there. That she's a jumper. Uh, <laughs> but you know, this for my first national show. I'm, I'm pretty proud. To take second place. I'll take it. I was huge. Like I said before, I was I was gonna be feel like a winner if I made the cut. And, you know, well, you you're absolutely a winner today, Jeremy. <laughs> Thank you. Hey guys, we are at the Nationals here at the Expo Center in Kentucky, and I just kind of tried to been taking it all in. I sold some shirts. I set up shop um, and sat there for three hours while Derek got to wander around and talk to people. And then finally I moved from the booth and went and wandered around, got to talk to some people myself, saw some really awesome goats, there's so many awesome breeders here, um, even Dragonfly, where I got little Miss Wildy, she is here, and I've seen her in the ring helping out, checking tattoos and things like that, so... I've got my eye on her because I wanted to actually meet her myself. My husband got to meet her, but but not me. Um, and Dill's a little doe goat farm is here also. Um, so I was hawking on her goats open. But yeah, guys, check it out. There's animals everywhere. Back here in this ring, these are the AOP, all other purebred. Um, no, recorded grade? Recorded grade. What recorded says. grade, sorry. So it's recorded grade is when you take two standard size goats, the, the big goats. Nigis can't be part of recorded grade. But take two different big goats or three, mix it together if you'd like, and they actually can kind of try to come up with their own breed. So that is what's called recorded grade in there right now. So I'm guessing this isn't your first goat show. <laughs> no, we've been doing it for 25, 6 years. We used to do Nubians and Alpines, and now we're doing Nigerians. We did do Nigerians at the end of it. Did Nigerians at the end of it? Yeah. You did them for probably, uh, uh, 10, 12, 14 years. Yeah. What do you like best about coming to a big show like this? People. The people? Yeah. That's yeah. the reason why we, you know, still come at our age. This is something we really enjoy. With the people. It was nice meeting you guys. Nice you. <laughs> All right, guys, so we are ringside waiting. The Nigis, the juniors, are actually showing right now. Um, so they just started, so I'm going to be ringside just keeping a close eye on that and see who wins. Um, and these two lo lovely ladies stopped by to say hello. You want to introduce yourself? I'm Elena. I'm Janae. And Mama, where are you? Tanya. <laughs> Mama Tanya. So excited to have them here and excited to see these Nigis. So this is just the first class of Nigis. 
And like typical Nigis, they are jumping around. Oh, I was wondering who the judge would be. He's right there. He has judged for us, but it's been a few years ago. He's a really good judge. Which, of course, you have to be really good, or you wouldn't be here at the Nationals. But this is going to be really hard for him because there are so many, and this is a small class of Nigis, considering some of the other classes are really, really large. All right, so these are the 20 that he decided. There were a few that he, he did excuse from the ring. Of course, he gave good words about them, just that they weren't as competitive as these ones. So these are the 20. He has them lined up, and now they're all going to walk to make sure that he thinks that they are um, accurately placed. And if you see in the national shows, here's my finger. Okay, there's two judges up here. One is the main judge, but he also has a helper judge, just so they can talk to each other back and forth and just shoot ideas off each other and make sure that the placing is correct. So it's pretty cool. Well, we saw a little niche that all of us goat-loving people um, needed some more giftable things. So we've got lots of craft things that we make from jewelry to some metal work and leather work and hats like Derek's wearing right now. Yeah. Yeah. I'm wearing uh, one just like that. And my wife is wearing one just like that. You make or made a lot of this stuff, right? That's right. And, and, and one thing that... Uh, is unique to all the stuff that that she has here is these goats don't have horns on them they're right they're that's that's kind of the niche right. you're aiming for yes and then everything i do i do in the four different um goat silhouettes so a swiss that covers you know overs and sables and saunas and all of that and then nigerian nubian and la mancha nice the goats are calling and i must go milk them <laughs> very very nice Thank the goats for your cheese. That's neat. Now you were you were engraving these. The yeah, use my laser on those to do different engravings. So if anybody was interested, where could they find this stuff? We have a website. It is hrddesignco.com, so they can find us there. And we're also on Facebook and Instagram. You also have goats here, don't you? We do. We do. We just brought four because we hauled all the way from Seattle. We have wow. Highland Ranch dairy goats. Wow, that's quite the drive. <laughs> it was quite the drive. Thankfully, the girls weathered it well and we survived also. This is the second class of Nigis here. Another huge class and they are so beautiful. All right. They have placed the top 20 here. Okay, as we start off our now they're going to walk and make sure that they like their decisions. Alright, next class, you guys, senior kids, there are 48 that I counted. I could be wrong, but at least 48 goats in this ring. This is crazy. 48. <laughs> I'm so jealous I'm not in the ring, guys. It's driving me nuts. Awesome. What type of goats do you breed? Nigerian dwarf and Nubian. How long you been uh been been into goats? Will be a year this year. Why'd you get into ghosts? Watching y'all's videos. <laughs> How many shows have you been to? This is my third one. Your third one? And you're at nationals already. How's that feel? It feels pretty good. What's your favorite thing about coming to, to goat shows? Getting the show and having fun. What classes are you showing in today? Nigerian North Senior Yearling. Nigerian Dwarf Junior Yearling and Nigerian Dwarf Senior Kid. We'll be watching. We hope you win, alright? Thank you. Okay, now we are on to the Junior Yearlings. And there are 33. So not quite such a big class. But jeez, you guys. So many Nigerians here. I said there was almost 600 in total. That is with the seniors and the juniors, though. So try judging a class this big. Alright, 
so this is the last class and these are senior yearlings the largest class by far and there are 59 lovely Nigees These are the remainder senior yearlings. Okay, now they got first and second place of each and every class. So there was five classes. And out of these, they're gonna choose grand champion and reserve. So we shall see. Before we go any further, let's just give this lineup a big round of applause. This is a spectacular Nigerian uh, I have to say that it's been a real pleasure for Ann and I both, for me personally, to be working with Ann uh, here doing this, and I just felt uh, the show went really well. And we look at this lineup, and I tell you, looked at almost 200 or so Nigerian war leaders, and yet, in my mind, when you look at the consistency of type, particularly in this first line and the second, it's really just me as the judge. A really, um, really a great moment, to be honest, to see that consistency that we have right down the line. Beautiful little junior kid. She's just scary. She's sharp and angular. She really just uh, gets in here very well. And with her beautiful deafness, she's nice and open lip. Then we move up the ladder. She gets intermediate, a little deeper. She shows us a nice little top line. Beautiful, openness of ribbing. Senior kid, tall, upstanding little doe with a lot of correctness. She came out of all these does, came out of large classes. And she's really well. She's very competitive evening. And then we have our Junior Yearling, just ahead of her. Again, just a really nice uh, open rib platform go and then a, a, a hand up to a line and draw a year. Deep body, strong and general pair, it's a beautiful organization for life. So today, we kind of talk this over at our junior champion, the Jerry Moore Show. Draw a year with her ahead of her. Congratulations. <laughs> this is a really beautiful, outstanding girl, and really Okay, so now we're looking for our reserve junior champion. Uh, looking at uh, bringing over, please move over your second place dry yearling. If you're not sure if you would, please put it up on this first place size. This is a second place dry yearling. Again, Doe is a real standout individual. She's nice and deep, smooth blended. We felt that just not quite the sharpness that we had in the nose of her, but quite the sharpness that's the nose behind to the boat with the reserve. Kind of looking a little bit closer at the two does right here in the center. It's Junior Yearling and then the driver, the senior kid. And as we put these two together, uh, my final analysis, we're just having, again, this is an extremely close call between these two does, and we kind of went back and forth. Today I'm going to go to the senior kid for my second reserve team the jacket. Just a little longer in her neck, just having a little bit clearer in the body, and just a little shot. She's going to be our reserve junior champion. Congratulations to all of you. You did a great job. It's been really great having you here in the ring today. A pleasure judging this Nigerian war show. Thank you very much. There you have it, guys. That is the Junior Nige Show. Super cool. And tomorrow is going to be the Senior Nigerian Show. Hi. Um, well, I have got goat milk soap, and these are all Kentucky themes. And so some of them are inventors, some of them are just famous personalities. Kentucky Derby. And Meriwether Lewis, the grandson of him, actually started the Kentucky Derby. And he had gone over to England, came back, and he's like, we need this pageantry here, and he started the Kentucky Derby. George Duvall was the inventor of the automated um, robot, and so um, we have here a little robot on top. Complete, there is no water used in this, it's all goat milk. And then Cumberland Falls, right here, which is the second largest uh, falls in the United States and well of course you know the first one is Niagara but this one here has on the two days before and two days after 
the um, the full moon, you can get a moon bow. And in that, and the only other place that you can see a moon bow is in Zimbabwe, which is Victoria Falls. So right here in Kentucky. And then we've got Louisville Slugger. And if you haven't been to the museum, my goodness, my husband went ape over it. He was so excited to be there. He has like a quarter million baseball cards. And a 17 year old actually started the business. He went to see the Eclipse play and the guy, his favorite player, Brown, broke his bat. He went home to his dad. They created a bat. He came back, gave it to Brown, and he had broke his slump with that bat. And that is how Louisville Slugger got their name. That's a great story. Yeah. <laughs> Quixotic Acres, which you can find on Instagram. You can find on Etsy. You can find us on Facebook. And you can just email me at goats are better yes, than dogs at gmail.com. All right, guys, excited to see the senior show. So right now, um, we have the one-year-olds in the ring, and they are looking great. Some really lovely udders here this morning. Another huge class. Oh my goodness, she is gorgeous. Uh-huh. She was smart to be in first. Ooh, that one's really nice. Agape? Yeah. That one's nice too. With buckskin. Oh yeah. Some of these one-year-olds are unreal with their eyes. Oh, it's crazy. I can't even imagine as a three or four-year-old. All right, you guys, so far, that girl there is my favorite. And that is Little Rascals. She's gorgeous. All right, so now he's just going through and checking udders, filling rib, skin, spacing. And then she's going behind, she's filling udders. All right, so he just excused these people and he's gonna work with these 20. And the dough I like is getting excused. Which I don't know why. How many goats do you have, Brad? We have about 30 Nigerian dwarf goats. Wow, 30 of them. How, how many shows have you attended? We've been to quite a few shows. Uh, this is our first national show. How'd you do today? We did well. We're happy with how we did. We had a junior show today. We had three juniors that we brought. Uh, two didn't make the cut, uh, which is okay. One of them got third place in her class. Wow. Happy with that. Yeah, I bet you are. She was a last minute ad for us. She wasn't registered for the show, and we were clipping goats before the show uh, to get them ready just for pictures for the year. And after we clipped her, she was great. And we added her to the CBI at the very last minute and brought her and she went for the best one we had. What's your favorite thing about going to goat shows? Chatting with people, seeing the goats. Uh, we, we learn so much. We've been doing shows for about four years, five years. Wow. Um, and every show we go to, we, still, we learn a lot about our goats. It's a great experience with the goats. It's really a purpose that we have with them to understand them, understand how they're doing the shows, but really to hear what the judges say. And we can have a goat at home that we think is great to get it out to a show and really see that maybe it has some flaws that we can't see when we're comparing it to our own animals. All right, this is the final, well, they might still make some changes, but this is the first 10. This is the national show. The first 10 get 
get a ribbon and you know they, they choose like 20 21 they get the mention and everybody else gets excused but the first 10 get ribbons here at the nationals and they're still contemplating i don't know they might change these front two i think oh oh my goodness all right, this guy's misbehaving as his herd. Agape, winning streak, deals. Agape, not sure, but I love that little light buckskin. And that one there's a Dills, and I'm not sure of the other ones. Misbehaving has kind of taken the show in the juniors yesterday. And today he just got first place in the one-year-old, so he's doing pretty amazing. Alright, this is their final. Final decision. Dills has taken third. Okay, so here we are. Oh my goodness. Yeah, you Have fun. <laughs> hey. Did you hear they said 80? In his next one? <laughs> his daughter goes up and we shows. We always get the huge ones. Yeah, his huge glasses. <laughs> That's what we like. That's lovely. Uh, his daughter is going up against 79 other goats here in this next class. So, and they only take 20. And they only take 20. Yep. <laughs> She's got this. Your dough looks good. Do it. Yep. Hi, welcome to the Great Goat. Um, selling barbecue rub. We have our original blend here which is in just original barbecue. We have our spicy blend. Uh, what inspired this behind the gray goat was our gray Nigerian drawer. Um, anywhere I was barbecuing, smoking, she always hung out with me. But we have a um, special blend here, so if you want to take your barbecuing to the next level, this is the seasoning to get. All right, if you're looking for the barbecue rub, you can find it at graygoatbarbecue.com. We also, not only the rubs, we also have barbecue sauce as well. Um, we have a the original barbecue sauce, a barbecue mustard sauce, and also a Texas Bowl barbecue sauce as well. You can be the goat at your next barbecue. So what else you got here, Rob? Uh, we got the Frank Crank, which actually was invented by a good buddy of mine and him and his family. They invented this over a camping trip. So what this is, this is a... Um, over a fire, so if you want to make those perfect marshmallows or hot dogs and corn over a fire, you turn this, the knob here at the bottom and it creates a rotisserie at the top here. It rotates. Genius. These are all handcrafted and everything's handmade and is all made here in the USA. Nice. Where, where do you find that at? Uh, this can be found at the FrankCrank.com, the original FrankCrank. Uh, dot com and also on Amazon as well. If you just type in the original Frank Crank or Frank Crank on Amazon, you'll be able to get them there as well. Very nice. Thank you. All right, here we are with the two-year-old. 
Okay, attention to anyone who had a champion or a reserve champion this week. And you had okay, your this guy is the one that keeps winning everything. Area. You need to go over there and select the photograph that you want to be used as the official photograph for ADCA purposes. You have to go over there and pick out which one you'd like to see used on the ADCA website for ADCA purposes. If you do not go over there, 80 goes. it will be chosen for you. So make sure you get over there today and see Melanie uh, to pick out the official photograph. I think yesterday the largest ring was 59. 59 for the largest ring yesterday? I think so. It's supposed to be 70, but. Yeah, so. Yeah. Yeah. So this is going to be the biggest class. That's nice. This will be the biggest? Yeah. Alright, so this should be the biggest class. And I don't know how they'd get any bigger than that, but. This should be fun for the judges. If you want to see a room full of beautiful goats, man, they're here. Again, the best of the best. Oh, I really like that. Dude. At ringside, or even if you're at home watching a live stream, and you like to follow along in the show book, um, you can follow along with the various entries class and kind of match them up to their ring numbers, you can go to nationalshow.adga.org. All right, there's so many goats, they got to do double deep, guys. Check it out. All the way around. I don't know how they're going to do this. She just said 69 in the ring, and they're supposed to be 80 or 82, one or the other. But it looks like nobody else is coming, We're so. Two and milkers, one from Garrett Morris, and one from so they're obviously with some scratches from what was on the entry, so 69 in here. Okay, guy, Wildy's mama is right there, Nazariah. And I have not seen her utter. Let's check this out. There, Ness. Sixth place, 
Winning Street CM Snow Boots, owned by Donna Lavery. Seventh place went to Violet's Acres BT Eda, owned by Laura Tyson. Eighth place went to Tyra's TNT Jewels Hope Diamond, owned by Eileen Meter. Chickadee Farms, and this is Zach, and this is Emily. How'd you guys do out there today? We did all right. Good. Very happy. Yeah. Two of our juniors made the cut out of really large classes, so we really too. couldn't be happier. It's the biggest classes that we've ever seen, right? Yeah. Huge. Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. true. One got 13th yes. place out that's of the largest class, and there was like 59. Our dry yearling right here. Yep, she got 13th out of 50, yeah, 50 something. Wow. Yep. We're the one in the corner of Anya. Got 12. He's got the 12th and 13th yes. best goat in the country right now <laughs> yes, in those classes. Right. How does that feel? That feels pretty good. <laughs> How many goats do you guys have all together? We have like eight, 18 or 19 right now, somewhere around there. Yeah, I don't know right. the exact number. Right. <laughs> Enough to stop It's down. always Enough changing. Uh, this isn't your first show. No. This is the first national show this that we've been to. Show. How many other shows have you been to? I'd Three years say. now. 15 maybe, 15 wow. or so shows we've been to, yeah. yeah. Yep. Wow, you guys are really getting out there and competing. We are, yeah. we are, yep. What do you guys like best about going to go shows? It's, it's the, the people for me. I like, yeah, he's uh, a people person, he likes sure. to talk yeah, to everyone. I like, I like to meet everybody, talk to everybody. Uh, he is a people person. See what everybody's about, who I can make friends with. Um, seeing Emily get out in the ring and do better than me. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> All right, second row going through. 16 went to Coke Creek's My Chamber Lot, owned by John and Liz Epley. 8 top place in you. Went to Cage Little Farm, SD Flurry, owned by Caden Cutburn. Second place in highest two went to CA Blackberry's Sandstorm, owned by Winnie Wong. This is crazy, you guys. That is so many goats. Now he wants them to walk. Sure got their job cut out for him. These judges. All right, next row needs to walk. 14, Capricorn Kenya or Aloha, Capricorn Farm. And the top place to use in that class was Shanae Blum, NSL Halo, owned by Emily Tucker. Second highest place to use was Rosewind Cecil Euphoria, owned by Alexandria Stewart. Again, for uh, all those watching ringside, the sign and show, or on live stream at home. If you would like to uh, follow along with the show books and the listings of all the those that are in the class, you can go to nationalshow.abga.org, scroll down to the show results option, and then just click on to uh, the sign and show, or well, did, Mama. the Nigerian show, ORG. And then click on the show results option and you're able to access the show books with the entire listing of all the goes that are entered in our show here today. Uh-oh, what are you selling? Hey babe. I am selling Sadgish, Southern Arizona Dairy Goat Association. 
is uh, hosting the annual convention in Tucson this year. So I'm here selling shirts. Nice. And they're lovely shirts. They are. I'm wearing one. I'm wearing one. So again, we are trying to fund the annual convention. So if you guys would like to help the club out um, in doing so, you can certainly purchase one of these shirts and we will leave a link in the description below. They are $20 um, and it would help out a lot. There's lots of colors to choose from. Also here in the vending area, there's all these shirts from the American Dairy Goat Association. I think most of this stuff, or some of this stuff, can be found on the ADGA.com website. He's okay. starting to choose, or they are rather. I don't know if these are the ones he wants to boot, or if these are the ones he's liking. Proud daddy moment right there. <laughs> That's their daughter. So many girls. All right, this is his final cut. I believe there's 24 out here. So out of these 24, he's going to start placing them. Everybody else got excused so that he can make sense of the doughs that he believed were the best of quality. I think they're about ready to wrap up their final decision out of 69 goats. There's like 24 in the ring right now. The storm the area of the crop. Uh, when, you get, uh, when you look at the commander systems and profile, a management system that's placed for a grant underneath that note, having less than a tendency to want to tilt forward, we teach you the place for it. Right now, we're going to put a tenth place so In general appearance, as you watch these shows as they walk around the ring, I know that it is more correct than strength and flatness, levelness of back and loin, levelness of rump, less of a tendency to want to roach over that back and break into chine as they travel out about the ring. She will grant some of the width and capacity of memory system. My name is Elise Galay de saint Theron, and I work for Biogenics LLC and we sell AI equipment and people equipment. Why you should AI. Um, my personal favorite is I'm a book collector. When I come to these shows, 
or I go to any show, I go through the, I want one of those, and I want one of those, but you know, you don't want to be feeding all of those. So, That's right. what better way than having one of those and one of those, but in a tank where you don't have to feed it. <laughs> right. You still get the genetic diversity, you get better biosecurity, and you can have all of the bucks that you want. If you want to learn how to AI and you want to learn how to use the gun properly, my suggestion is going to biogenicsllc.com and going to our AI clinics page and signing up to be on one in one of our clinics. Your first day of class is going to be sitting down and learning about the estrus cycle and your dose and how things work. The next day, you're going to learn about your bucks in the morning and in the afternoon you are going to actually AI your does in class. If there is not a clinic in your area, you can call our main office or email us to set up a clinic in your area. We have all sorts of AI supplies, stuff to refill your kit, fecal test kits, fecal solution, a really awesome microscope. Where could they find this stuff at? Um, BiogenicsLLC.com I like my dad. Sponsored by Amy, Nathan, Andrew, and Matthew Keach of Keach Manor. The total performer is sponsored in memory of Stephen Considine and his historic Seder herd. Um, and that was sponsored by Lisa Shepard and Jan Carlson. The junior class ribbons were uh, compliments of Lee Three Farms, Sean Reeder and family. The senior class ribbons, compliments of Christine Knobloch, Lazy YouTube Bar Dairy. The group class ribbon sponsored by the National Sun and Breeders. The championship rosette sponsored by AJ Carpenter and Matt Carey. The best ever rosette sponsored by Heather Scott of Mountain Ridge Farm. These are the best ever rosettes sponsored by Cisco Sun and the member of Gray Wolf. The premier breeder banner compliments of Heather Scott of Mountain Ridge Farm. Premier exhibitor banner, eight three farm, on reader family. Premier player banner, compliments of acres and goats, David and Tina Spear. And the reserve premier breeder banner, compliments of Wayne Green of Tangle Rose Gary Goats. Thank you to all those that sponsored uh, our Sonic Awards this year. Okay, we are on to the three-year-old class, and there are 49 in this class. And somehow, this feels like a small class, but it's not. All right, this uh, class is going a lot quicker. I feel like they're well-versed in large classes now, so they're already picking out who they like. Two lane placing over three, this was a much closer placing for us. We just saw the second place go, kind of more more correctly follow the first go in your general appearance and the stature of outstandingness. We thought she's longer in her camp, longer in her own pattern, maybe just a bit cleaner and more angular today than this than no one three. Though again, she's something kind of right, so it's a tremendous memory system on this third place still. It's for that advantage in memory system and height, particularly with the rear and length and extension of four and strength of those lateral attachments. The three places over four. She has the advantage as well of body capacity, being a little wider from that front end of her chest floor and deeper back through the rear rib than is our fourth place still. For the placing over five, in turn advantages in the memory system. Particularly the wind, as I say, at the top of that rear rib. She has the advantage as well in body capacity and depth of both forward and rear rib. And when you look at dairy strength, we just love the rib of the stove, the, sweet, the way that rib sweeps back toward the flame. And she had the advantage, we thought, in general appearance and the stature, the strength through the chine, while on the move or while left back to your line. Two then placing over three, quite an advantage in general appearance. Starting at the front end, she's straighter and stronger on those front legs from the side on the front. She's stronger about the front pass. They're getting the pretty close to their placing Smoother decision here. She did a little flatter and level over top and rump as well. In addition, she certainly had the advantage in bearing the system, particularly in length, with the forward attachment and other support with more strength. And he has decided for the three year olds. Okay, so this is about three year olds. Again, we had uh, the 49ers come up with it. Uh, this is our final. 
talking with Kathy from Lone Cedar etc and she has lots of interesting things but this one thing that just caught my eye were these uh, awesome tote bags that she has and she has sewed these patterns on herself she said yes I have a um, machine and I've retired so I needed something to do with my spare time and I sew um, a lot of these patterns are purchased patterns but they're sewn on this one in particular may only have three thread changes, but it has over 70,000 stitches. Wow. So they're a lot of fun to do. Um, I enjoy it and it keeps me out of trouble. You have lots of designs here. If anybody was interested, can they email you? Or? Yes, um, my email is lonecedar, etc. at earthlink.net. Lone Cedar, etc. at earthlink.net. And it's etc. is that just eat. CT. It's Lone Cedar ECT at earthlink.net. All right, here we are with the four year olds, and in this class, there is just a tiny bit of goats. Ha ha. Looks like we got 37 here. And one just had to get um, excused because she was barely over height, which is such a shame. She was gorgeous. That's such a bummer for them. I know it. Let's we'll see how the four-year-olds go. 37 does. All right, they are finishing their lineup here, and this is really cool. This is Zach, and he's here with his wife, Emily, from Chickadee Farms. And they're just awesome people, really. We met them here. They've been subscribers for a while, but we just met them for the first time, and they are about to take first, I think. That is a lovely doe and well-deserving, and I hope they get it. That is so exciting. Just the fact that he's up there right now. I mean, look at, look at Emily over here. She's over here losing it, I have no doubt. <laughs> She's stressing. <laughs> How cool. Out of all of these top breeders here, man, this is so cool. I hope they win. Looks like he's gonna leave it. So cool. She is gorgeous. Well, we have the utterly easy milker, which we originally came out with. It, uh, it's a handheld vacuum operated unit. We sell it worldwide. We sold over 150,000 of them. Wow. Um, I invented everything that's on this table. We also have, uh, we have our uh, ultimate easy milker. Um, I've got this one set up so if you don't have electricity you can run it off of an inverter. You can use uh, Milwaukee, DeWalt, or uh, Makita batteries. And that's all the noise that this motor makes. That is quiet. And uh, within, we've got a dummy down everything on it, so it's actually black arrows for the sheep and the goats, and red arrows for the cows, the camels, and the horses. 
um, and how it works. Once you build, it takes about 18 seconds to build a vacuum. You just uh, line it up with the teeth, open up the air. Very nice. And you're on. When you go to take it off, you just shut off the air, put your thumb up against the bag, and it just drops right off. We have, uh, because it's been a, <laughs> we kept adding on, we came out with the bottles first, and then they wanted to uh, be able to milk 14 at once, so we 2.6 gallon stainless steel can, and I invented all that, so all you have to do is just um, take, take the lid off, and um, push it down, that sets the vacuum, and everything to do it. It's very fast, simple, quick, when you get ready to wash, uh, you can just go ahead and suck the um, <clears throat> soap and water through and then rinse it. You can hang that up over a door, open up all your air lines, take off your silicone inflation, and... Um, let it drain dry, out. Yeah, and let it uh, go ahead and air dry and you're ready to go. Everything's made here in the U.S. and we'll ship worldwide. Right there's your, your yes. website right there. And these are the five and six year old Nigies up. And there are 39. There's a lot of pretty senior does here. Up all your, your pens look and your animals look. Um, and this year, what was done is the eight members of the Attica staff that are in attendance here each went out on their own, took a walk around the barn, and they came back with their first, second, and third placings the best. He's down to his 20 or so that he has selected, so now he's going to start placing the five and six year olds. Alright guys, that doe right there is named Spelling Bee, and she five years ago or six years ago went at an auction either Colorama or the Spotlight I believe it was Spotlight and went for $16,000 so that lady holding her paid $16,000 for that dope crazy 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 she is pretty One, two, three, four. Looks like she's taken fourth. All right, so here are the top 10 placings so far. So it looks like 14th place was Agape. Dono, Dono, Dono. That's that. Spelling Bee, fifth place. And then Agape right there. All right, so this is the last class in the senior does. Now, these senior does are seven and older. So they could be seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, it doesn't matter. I highly doubt there's anything over 10, but it's cool when you do get to see an aged doe that is held up as she's supposed to. Ooh. I like that doe. All right, let's see how they do. The junior, uh, the ribbons for the junior classes were sponsored by Tracy Clevenger of Bellfire Farm. The ribbons for the senior milking classes were compliments of Anchors Away Farm. The group class ribbons sponsored by DRRL Farm, Rob, Donna, Robbie, and Lacey Miller. The championship rosettes sponsored by Cassandra Wheels of Doodle Acres, the Best Butter Rosette, Freedom Star Farm, Logan Meyer, the Reserve Best Butter Rosette, Cassandra Wheels, Doodle Acres. The Premier Breeder Banner was compliments of Brenda Piper of Honey Locust Farm, and she also was sponsored the Premier Exhibitor Banner. The Premier Slayer Banner was compliments of uh, Hobby Crop Nigerian Dwarfs, Catherine Hobby, Betsy Wicker, Susan and Ashley Nugent, 
and the Reserve Premier Breeder Banner was sponsored by Tracy Clevender of the Bella Fire Farm. Thank you to all those for your generous sponsorships uh, for the Nigerian Board show today. See the suspense is killing the crowd. Okay, here we are on our championship lineup, the senior champion at the national show. Um, I'd like to thank all the exhibitors for bringing us this beautiful Nigerian horse here for Ann and I to look at. I'd like to thank my consultant, Jeff Hans, and the Kevin Sears for all of this um, beautiful numbers that we want to have in Because I think we're going to close to 300 here in our senior division. We're going to be coming up with a good one. We're looking at about 500 or more. Two hundred and sixty senior dose, four hundred and ninety-eight. Two hundred and sixty senior dose. And here first place we have a seven-year-old, then we have a six-year-old, four-year-old, three-year-old, two-year-old, and yearly. Right, so coming up to the next door, I never 
four-year-old third freshman. He's very long in the neck. Got the body with a really nice line of bone and a beautiful memory system. Here we have a six-year-old go right ahead of her. Five freshmen, beautiful memory system, deep in the heart, long body growth, and just a real nice, smooth blooded individual, showing us a lot of evidence of productivity. And then our eight so at the head of the line, a seven-year-old, uphill, beautiful, flexibility to the skin, open and straight. As we look at the group here at the top, we kind of debated a couple of animals back and forth, but the joke that we both agreed on by Hartley, 48 days that she has a mammary system with the rear udder, just a really nice step of body. A six-year-old though will be on our first Woo! Congratulations, beautiful six-year-old, and give me more. Okay, you ready? Oh, he's crying. <laughs> Rare, I'm going to play six year old over. Again, this is a really nice, uh, tall stand here, if you remember. We really like the way that she handled herself in the ring of general appearance. A lot of depth and width around. Just not quite the capacity of memory system. It's being balanced today, but a really competitive dough, and we really appreciate her being on this first line. The dough that we felt came closest to our champion of the day. Four year old. Really nice level pop, beautiful tail, appearance streaks, primarily straight with the four legs, streak the faster. Two year old nose going to be coming to